everyone, a very warm welcome to you. I hope you are well. My name is Nick, we're on the ZX Spectrum, and we're looking at a game called River Raid, published by Activision in 1984. Our second visit to Activision in the day, if you're watching these as they go up. Also come out on the Atari 2600, Commodore 64, and the MSX. You take the role, all oh, at different difficulty levels. Anyway, you take the role of a fighter pilot uh, over single missions to destroy bridges and take out all enemy emplacements. So. Here we go. Let's see how it compares to the Atari 2600 version. Now, it looks like there's quite a lot of place but, um, area compared to other versions I've played, which might make it a bit easier. So, our fuel's gradually running down, as you see that magenta bar there. We must shoot um, our path all the way through, don't have to shoot everything, and we die by either crashing into any of that green scenery, any of the enemy ships getting shot, or um, running out of fuel. Right, so here we go. Sounds sort of okay, bit of colour clash when the plane goes over the fuel, but I was half expecting that. Um, good conversion it looks at the moment, although a lot easier than some versions because the plane is a lot, lot smaller compared to the scenery. Now check out the Atari 2600 version, there's not much room to manoeuvre um, there. And uh, yeah, this looks okay, so I should do a bit better on this one, shouldn't I? It's playing quite well, I'm getting a good buzz out of it straight away, I knew half what to expect. Uh, you see what level we're on in the bottom right, it says bridge 2, and every time we shoot a bridge that represents the next level, if we lose life we just restart from there. But it doesn't pause this game, it just goes on and on and on and on and on until you will die I suppose. Let's get round this, oh dear, I was supposed to get round Budgie the helicopter but I got blown up like the fool I was. So we should go back to the previous bridge point. Our lives are underneath there, represented by the planes in yellow. So we're on bridge two, yellow, and on the right hand side there is fuel going down. This ship runs out of fuel quite quickly. Or aircraft, I should say. Blow up the boats, they're all evil boats, up to no good. You can go slow over the fuel if you want, um, that's probably a bit better. It fills up um, a bit more than when it should do. Don't hit any of the green, don't hit any of the enemies, and you're there. Now, if you had this one back in the day, let me know. These Activision games, I've only just recently realised that they've been converted from the Atari 2600 onto the Spectrum, and indeed the Commodore 64, so we might be looking at a few other ones. But earlier we looked at Beam Rider, so check that one out too. Activision were kings on the Atari 2600. Uh, Spectrum, not so much, but this is a pretty good conversion, I would say. Looks at it on a live stream on the Commodore 64. Yeah, it plays ever so slightly different, but the essence is there each time. Hmm, good, good. Um, the uh, engine noise of the aircraft is, is okay. It's what you would expect on a 48k chip. Right. Keep going. Keep going. That's good advice. But yeah, there's so much, I can't emphasise this enough, there's so much extra play area. Make it, this is probably the easiest version that I've played so far. Probably going to ramp up in difficulty a bit later on. We've got so much room to work with. It's it's like luxury. It's like being in a mansion, having only been in a small tent before. If you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. Right, okay. So coming up to bridge four, I think that blue line then might represent how far we're getting, does it? There we go. Bridge five. Bridge five, stay alive. Well, now it's getting a bit tricky. There's, uh, there's aircraft coming across horizontally every now and again. But we've got plenty of opportunities to shoot these people at the moment. There's a hot air balloon. My wonderful balloon. Right, take them out and them. Hmm. Now, the aircraft seem to be a bit more onto you in other versions. Here, you can just wait for them to go across. They seem to be more kamikaze in those, in those ones. It's a good conversion. It's a good conversion. Now there's a tank on the bridge, shoot that. Kaboom, I like that effect as that explodes. So I would have gone back to this quite a lot as a kid. Um, as I always say in these reviews, it isn't about expert gameplay, although sometimes it happens by random. Uh, it's about what your first or second go would have been like. Would there have been enough there if you want to go and um, play it again as a... Uh, uh, there if you've got it as a birthday present or with your pocket money and so forth and I think on this one I would have done uh, the reason being it's got a nice gentle learning curve starts off quite easy and uh, goes are quite absorbing first of all good take out that tank there so we're already on bridge seven good yeah I would I would love this game back in the day it doesn't take much fault as you plot your way forward and the go goes on and on and on it's not dried into different levels well, it is, but they're continuous levels. So that's a good bit of programming as well. Avoid getting shot by that tank. So it's getting gradually more difficult, but slowly more difficult, I would say. 
Right, bridge eight. Don't think I've sort of like got to this sort of like stage on the other versions. You've seen doing very well if you did so. I wonder if it's going to get a bit more narrower later on. Oh, we've probably taken the wrong route there. You see the route down the um, the left would have been a lot easier, but never mind. We've managed to get through. The enemies seem to be on top of each other in other versions. Here they're more spaced out. Good bit of refueling. So fuel's going down quite quick, actually. Right, we might have to go slow over this. We didn't get a full refuel, but there's another fuel point there. Bridge 9. Almost got a full tank, and we will get a full tank. It's been very generous with the fuel. Oh, oh I thought it was going to get killed then. You can blow up the fuel, but try not to do that, because you need that sort of stuff. I mean, I've never known an aircraft to run out of fuel this quick. I think they've also been shot by a helicopter. There seems to be a, a lot of fuel uh, maybe uh, being used for a short distance, and maybe there's a hole in the fuselage or something like that. Right, so still on bridge nine. I think this might be our last life. When there's one plane left, I don't know whether that includes the life we're on or not. Some some games differ from uh, other ones, how they treat that. So sometimes you think it's over, but then you're sort of like, okay. Loads of fuel here. Makes me think that there might not be any for a while. Oops, that's the wrong path. Oh, got away with that. So you can speed up and slow down, go left or right, but you can't go up and down the screen as such, and now it's getting narrow. Right, so now, now the challenge is starting. Yeah, okay, so yeah. <laughs> Don't know what those boats are trying to do. Run aground, I think. So it's a narrow, narrow passageway and it's opened out again. It's more difficult to get the fuel, though, when it's a bit narrow, because you don't want to crash into the scenery. But here's a good chance to refuel. We'll get back onto the other one. Yeah, it's almost full whack here. I wouldn't like to go out into war in a hot air balloon. It doesn't seem very manoeuvrable, and you do seem quite a bit vulnerable in one of those. Oops, oh, got around that thing. Bridge 11, get past... Oh, we, uh, we, we run into the firepower of that mighty tank. Right, away we go again. Got a good old score there, 100, no, 10,370. What a score. And I think that gets converted to New English Pounds and they send you it to send you the money in the post. I think that's what happens. Okay. Citation, it might not happen. Activision might not have that amount of money or the or the willpower to um, uh, be able to check what score you've got. It'd be nice them to phone up though. Nick, what score did you get? I got a million. Okay, we'll send you the million straight away. Thank you. Don't think it's going to happen. Right, it's one way or another. Oh, they seem both equally equally dangerous. Oh, I think we picked the right route there. Slightly less stuff there, but there's no fuel, and the fuel is getting a bit low. We need some fuel, folks. Oh, no. Right, there's fuel over there. We need to get to that. Come on. Not going to get a full tank. I'm going to give it half of it. That keep, might keep us going for a little bit. Oops. Ow. Oh. That ship wouldn't stay still enough. Is that the last life? No, one left. We've got a bonus life somewhere. Bridge 12. Back, so back to where we started from on this sort of like stage. Got a full tank of fuel we started off with, but as you can see, it's already down to about three quarters. It's going down very, very quickly. So good playability on this, good graphics, good sound, good learning curve. I like it, good conversion. Maybe a little bit too easy, first of all, but that I think that might help the enjoyment and um, get a kid more involved rather than playing it once and turning it off forever. So, you know. And eventually you are going to find your, your level of difficulty on this. So good stuff. Bridge 13, last life. It's all or nothing. Shoot the stuff that shoots you before it shoots you. Fuel. And we've got a bit of it and then I think we accidentally blew up the fuel. I'm not quite sure how this, this plane refuels in midair, But there we go. Could we can get to bridge 14. I don't know how many bridges are in this. So if you know, let me know. Because if you had this back in the day, you would have played it heaps. And it's the sort of game where it looks like it's doable with a bit of practice. Because as I say, this is just my first go. And we're already on to bridge 14. Right, I don't think there's going to be too much unexpected. There's going to be no end of level bosses on this. And look how wide it is now for um, stage 14. Just clear your path away. That thing's not going to do too much. It's spinning around in a circle like a wally. I would say track this one down. Well worth a download. You're not going to have any quick goes on it though. You'll be playing for quite a while. So it's not like going to be like R-Type where you die in the first few seconds. 
as a as an insect or goes over the bridge. Lots of fuel. Bridge 15. That's a huge figure. Right, but this is the last life, though. Haven't actually used any pokes on this one. Hooray! Not necessary. Not necessary to show you all the game, but you've pretty much seen the all, all the gameplay. Really, it's just variations of a theme now. And I think that's it. I think that's me doomed. So yeah, I hope you liked having a look at that. I really enjoyed that game. Uh, really nice feel to it, although I didn't own it back in the day. I'm getting a bit of a nostalgia buzz from it. It's brilliant. So hope you liked having a look at that one. That was River Raid on the ZX Spectrum, published by Activision in 1984. Got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. You're always, always, always welcome. And until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.